on YouTube? Joe here on a Wednesday, a wonderful Wednesday. Down here in the workshop. And just thought I would show you some of uh, a kind of a new line of pipes I'm doing. Not really advertised as such, but kind of a new family, if you will, of rustic pipes. They're rustic, got a rusticated look to them, but they're not all 100% rusticated. Um, we've got kind of an old world finish to it as far as the color and some different looks to it as far as bands are concerned on there. Oh, by the way, I'm smoking my Nirup of a brandy pipe there. And in it, I'm smoking some plum cake it's plum good. <laughs> I felt a little bit like Briarville Rick there. How you doing, YouTube? That's <laughs> what he would do anyway. But let me put this pipe aside so I can show you. The first one in the series I did, I uh, call it the uh, Rustic Poker. And uh, this one, you can see the rustication is not just solid rustication you can still see some smooth parts there almost looks like it's rusticating from the bottom up uh, even has a little plateau showing through there on the top uh, smooth top the band here is an acrylic band that is irregularly faceted if you will uh, it's, it's not just a smooth perfect band around it uh, did that on purpose and uh, this one has sort of a uh, greenish brown earthy looking stem to it that one uh, is sold uh, the next one that I did uh, is right here and this time I did a Dublin again in that same kind of uh, rustic it's almost uh, some of you now being a woodworker I know a few facts here and there but in England in Great Britain you guys over there uh, can attest to this. Some of the most sought after antique uh, furniture are th the furniture that actually shows worm eaten areas. It's, it's amazing, but that's, that's true. I, I learned that by watching, I think, uh, Norm Abram on the New Yankee workshop. And so anyway, this one, this kind of uh, replicates that kind of look. Uh, to it, but it has a smooth top again that irregularly faceted band. What I mean by that is it's not perfectly round It's got different spots on that Just like a kind of a, like a, a stone wood and again the same kind of material I used on this one that kind of greenish brown earth tone look that right there beautiful grain uh, in there and the grain that can be seen there you go Okay, that one is also sold. Now this one, at the time I'm recording this, is available, is available now. This is a brandy shape pipe in that same kind of design. Again, that kind of worm-eaten, rustic look on the bottom, look like it looks like it's eating from the bottom up. That smooth on the sides. I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, but check out the bird's eye on there. Absolutely gorgeous bird's eye. Uh, this one, I did a black vulcanite stem for this one. Slightly bent on it. And again, that green, black, irregular acrylic band on there. Irregularly faceted. It's faceted because you can see all the different ways it shines all the way around. Oh, no, I guess you can kind of see that. There you go. It's kind of as it goes around. So... Anyway, this one is available right now. It's the Rustic Brandy, and it's available. Uh, you can go to my website, joecasepipes.com, and right there on the front page, it'll be listed and with a link on how you can go and purchase this if you'd like to. It's immediately available, joecasepipes.com. Don't, don't get to show many immediately available pipes uh, here on YouTube, but here's one for you today. Beautiful. I think this is a gorgeous pipe myself. I, I really love it. Love the size of it. If uh, if you're wanting to know the the real size here, 
Uh, let's take my ruler. It is about two and a quarter inches tall at the top, about one and three eighths inches wide at the top. It, down at the bottom, it's a little more than one and three quarters wide at the bottom. Uh, as far as the total length is concerned, it is about five and a half inches long. Has a little bit larger than a three quarter inch uh, tobacco chamber on there. And again, it's immediately available at JoeCasePipes.com. Go check that out. So that's it uh, for the middle of the week. I know uh, 4th of July is coming up for the United States. It's our Independence Day. For the rest of you, probably another Friday. But it's a big, big summer holiday here in the States. I may be working that morning, uh, working on a pipe. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. But I am so busy. I'm trying my best to get caught up with all these pipes. And I got a plan and I'm on track uh, to try to get everything that I have in the house right now, as far as orders are concerned, done by the end of the summer. The official end of summer, which is in September. So uh, don't forget the. Uh, uh, Southern Fried Pipe Show, used to be called the Music City Pipe Show, uh, is coming up in September, on September 20th. And for more information on that, uh, you can go to the link right here on the bottom of the screen. You can go there and find out more how to get tickets to it, how to sign up for raffles, how to buy shirts and caps for it in advance. Uh, it is going to be huge and it's brought to you uh, brought to all of us by the great folks at Drew Estate. It's a Southern Fried Pipe Show presented by Drew Estate, and it's going to be a fun time September 20th. I did an earlier video that had more specifics on it if you want to go check that out. All right, that's it. Don't forget, the Rustic Brandy is available right now at JoeCasePipes.com. God bless you all. Catch you next time.